Welcome. Welcome to the Office of Undergraduate Research Awards Ceremony uh, for 2023. We're so excited to be recognizing so many undergraduate researchers and their mentors. I'd also like to take a moment, if you are on your computer, you can go ahead and check out our full program uh, for this award ceremony. It has been updated. I want to thank everyone for joining us in adapting for the reality of a winter, winter advisory in effect for us to all move online. So thank you all for joining us um, for this remote virtual award ceremony. We're so excited to have you all here. My name is Dr. Annie Isabel Fukushima. I'm the Associate Dean of Undergraduate Studies and the Director of the Office of Undergraduate Research. I want to welcome all of you to this ceremony. One of the University of Utah's six commitments is to research where we innovate, improve lives, and change the world. This commitment occurs at all levels of the educational experience, including student, faculty, and staff collabor collaborations across the 18 colleges at the U. Today, we celebrate those who have committed to fostering undergraduate research experiences. This ceremony is a celebration being live streamed to family and friends to recognize scholars of the Francis Family Fund, the D Foundation, the Parent Fund, and the Monson Prize essay, and to celebrate the Outstanding Undergraduate Researcher awardees and the Outstanding Undergraduate Research Mentor awardees nominated and selected from our college partners. Before we begin, I invite us all to begin together with gratitude. And it's important to acknowledge our Native American communities and the lands that sustain and feed us. We acknowledge that this land, which is named for the Ute tribe, is a traditional and ancestral homeland of the Shoshone, Paiute, Goshute, and Ute tribes. The University of Utah recognizes and respects the enduring relationship that exists between many indigenous peoples and their traditional homelands. We respect the sovereign relationship between tribes and states and the federal government, and we affirm the University of Utah's commitment to a partnership with Native nations and urban Indian communities through research, education, and community outreach activities. Thank you to our Native American communities whose land hosts us as settlers, feeds us and sustains us, and nourishes the next generation of scholars, change makers, and people committed to the common good. At the University of Utah, I just want to take a moment to have some acknowledgments of the various, various offices that have supported undergraduate research. I'd like to thank our colleagues, different nodes and initiatives under the Office of Undergraduate Studies. I'd also like to appreciate the partnerships with the Office for Vice President of Research. You'll hear from AVP Karen Frost, but I also want to acknowledge our partnerships with VPR Aaron Rothwell and thank them for their ongoing support. I also want to appreciate the leadership across campus. This leadership includes deans, associate deans, assistant deans, directors, and chairs, leadership who have been so vital to fostering a culture of research that includes undergraduate researchers and students. We could not do this work without the mentors that support our students, faculty, graduate student and staff, they've all been so seminal to the undergraduate research experience and uh, experiences. We know that when we are finished at the research site or conducting research, we oftentimes return home to a community of families, whether they are chosen or otherwise, and friends who sustain our spirits. And when research is difficult, and it is, they are the ones who are there to celebrate with us. Without you, research and student experiences would not be possible. Um, so we thank that community for also being a part of this experiences. And thank you all for joining us. I also want to thank the Office of Undergraduate Research Team, which is an incredibly dynamic team. Um, our dynamic team includes Cindy Greaves, um, and so I'm going to uh, name some of our veterans who've been with the office a little bit longer first. Cindy Greaves, who's the program manager, was also the recipient of the 2022 Undergraduate Studies Staff Excellence Award. I want to thank Cindy Greaves. I want to thank Megan Shanahan, who's our academic program manager. Many of you know uh, Megan from our partnerships as well as Spur. And newer to our team, I'd also like to thank these folks who've been just as essential. Um, it includes 
Eli Covarubias, who's our Associate Director um, for the office, Shelly Parker, who's the Events Coordinator, and Jude Ruelas, who's the Outreach Coordinator. So thank you to the Office of Undergraduate Research Team, who's been seminal to supporting undergraduate student experiences here at the University of Utah. We absolutely need amazing staff, and I'm so fortunate to work with such a dynamic, wonderful team. I also want to thank our undergraduate research leaders who are also part of our team. Um, these folks um, are our outreach. They are our ambassadors working with our various stakeholders and communities um, on the campus and off the campus. So I'm going to go in the order of their last name. And so I'm going to start with Josh Chang, who's graduating with a bachelor's degree in biology this 2023 who was also inducted into the Beehive Honor Society, Gary Garg, a presidential intern who's co-authored five publications and is graduating this semester with a bachelor's in honors in health society and policy and minors in chemistry and pediatric clinical research. Suthark Tawari, who's also graduating, is a recipient of the competitive GRFP in biomedical engineering and pursuing a doctoral degree in computational biology. He's been accepted into multiple universities including Cornell University. Emmy Wickens, who's also graduating summa cum laude in May with an honors bachelor's degree in health society and policy with minors in chemistry and honors in health in context. And then also Malika Moen Vizari, who's also graduating, is a president of PUSO and graduating with a bachelor's degree in health society and policy and minor in psychology. These are our graduating leaders. We're so appreciative of the work that they've done for us through the year. Um, um, and also, we want to um, recognize our ambassadors who are continuing on with us for our campus-wide efforts, who include Aliana Mas Massey, who is a SPUR 2022 and will be recognized today, um, and as well as Ava Pites, who received the Excellence in Undergraduate Leadership Award presented by the College of Science. So I'm so appreciative of our undergraduate leaders. This year's theme for the Office of Undergraduate Research was learning beyond the classroom, and I want to thank the family, friends, and community who are watching live. Due to the labor, love, and support of so many named and unnamed, we are able to foster high-impact experiences with undergraduate research here at the University of Utah. Today, we celebrate undergraduate researchers and their mentors. I would like to now invite to offer remarks, Senior Associate Dean of the Office of Undergraduate Studies, Jim Agutter. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, uh, Dr. Fukushima and the rest of the team in the Office of Undergraduate Research for the transformative work that they're doing in promoting positive educational outcomes for students at the university. And thank you all for joining us, excuse me, from afar. Uh, as we enjoy our beautiful sunny spring day here at the university in the foot of the Wasatch Mountains. Uh, this award ceremony offers us an opportunity to highlight the intellectual curiosity and creativity of the students at this R1 institution. The mission of the Office of Undergraduate Studies is to create an exceptional education experience for every student at the university. These experiences are designed to serve students, faculty, staff, and communities in ways that we know will lead to greater success. Students first is at the heart of our philosophy in undergraduate studies. It is our priority to ensure exceptional education experience across the U that are accessible, challenging, and transformative. Our goal is to enhance equitable experiences and lead on institutional efforts of persistence time to degree, workforce needs, and civic engagement. In fall of 2022, we joined the exclusive University Innovation Alliance, where we're partnering with leading national coalition of public research universities committing, committed to an exceptional education experience. Undergraduate research has been shown to be a high impact practice that helps us provide an exceptional education experience. According to the Council on Undergraduate, Re excuse me, Undergraduate Research, participation in undergraduate research increases retention, persistence, and graduation rates. And students who engage in research demonstrate outcomes such as better analytic and critical thinking, improved communication and writing skills, and enhanced academic achievement. 
Another benefit of undergraduate research is it provides exceptional learning opportunities where students are able to work with and learn from faculty who are experts in their fields. Success in this area depends largely on effective faculty mentorship. In recognition of the value of faculty contributions to undergraduate research, we're thrilled to be presenting the Outstanding Undergraduate Research Mentor Awards this year. Congratulations to each of our faculty members receiving this distinct honor. Your guidance and support has been essential to the accomplishments being highlighted today. I want to extend my warmest congratulations to the winners of the Outstanding Undergraduate Research Award as well. This is a remarkable achievement that reflects your hard work, dedication, and exceptional talent. It underscores your commitment to academic excellence and demonstrates your potential to contribute significantly to your field of study. I look forward to hearing your future endeavors. I'll now pass the time to Dr. Frost. Thank you, uh, Senior Associate Dean um, Agutter, uh, for your remarks. We really appreciate you. I'd now like to take a moment to introduce our next speaker. Uh, we've, we are really honored for this partnership with the VPR's office. So now speaking next is Dr. Karen Frost, who's the Associate Vice, Vice President for Research, Integrity, and Compliance at the University of Utah. Welcome, Dr. Frost. Thank you, Dr. Fukushima. I really appreciate being able to be here today, even if we are on Zoom, right? Um, so good morning. Uh, my name is, as uh, Dr. Fukushima said and Dr. Agutter said, um, I'm Dr. Karen Frost. I am the Associate Vice President for Research Integrity and Compliance here at the University of Utah. And today is an appreciation, recognition, and celebration of research and everything it entails. Research is about helping people. Finding solutions for our society is what gets me most excited about the future of research at the U, and you are at the forefront of it. As an applied anthropologist, I'm always looking for what's the problem, what's the solution, what can we do? So I love what you've done with uh, many of the projects that you've been involved with as students. So Utah re students in research tackle critical challenges our state faces, such as telework, telehealth for work with teachers in rural areas, air quality, how, what to do about assessing concussion in college athletes, ocular health, mental and physical health across the lifespan, social work in nursing homes, reproductive health care, experiences of researchers during the COVID pandemic, housing and development, and many, many more topics. There's no doubt you, our University of Utah student researchers, will continue to innovate in science, medicine, and technology, and many more fields. Thank you for all of the work that you're doing and your interest in research. At the end of the day, it's all about finding solutions to our society's biggest issues. The stakes are very high, so please continue your work and, conti and continue to teach others about the importance of research. I would also like to express my appreciation for the wonderful mentors and research faculty who work with the students to reach their goals. As we know, all researchers have needed or at some point will need guidance. And being a faculty mentor or a mentor for people who are doing research is really a wonderful opportunity to share your ideas and thoughts about that. If it wasn't for the hard work, patience, dedication, and care to see students succeed that faculty and mentors display each day, our student research wouldn't reach its highest levels. Collaboration is vital in the research world and mentors teach new researchers how to work as a team for the greater goal of making headway and new discoveries. To the mentors, faculty, and staff, thank you for your leadership and guidance to our students. So in conclusion, I just wanna thank our Office of Undergraduate Research under the direction of Dr. Fukushima for allowing me to be part of this wonderful event. To the students, we at the Office of the Vice President for Research are proud of each of you and the life-changing findings you are discovering. Continue to be curious and find solutions to life's greatest challenges. Good luck in your future endeavors and congratulations on your work. Thank you. And I'll turn it back over to Dr. Fukushima. 
Thank you so much uh, for your wonderful remarks as well. Um, so we're getting the day started with wonderful remarks, inspiration, and I want to thank our colleagues for sharing their opening remarks. We are now going to begin with the award ceremony of recognizing our various scholars, as well as our Monson Prize essay winners, um, and also our other um, recipients of the OUR awards and mentor awards. Um, we will continue by starting off with the next awards. The Francis Family Foundation is one of our charitable donors supporting undergraduate research students at the U. The John and Irene Francis Endowment Fund was established in 2010 by John A. Francis in memory of his loving wife, Irene, and his son, Dr. John G. Francis who is a University of Utah professor in political science with the College of Social and Behavioral Science. I'd now like to invite Senior Associate Dean Agutter to present the scholars of the Francis Family Fund. Yes, thank you, Dr. Fukushima. It's my honor to announce the, the winners of the 2022-2023 Francis Family Scholars. Uh, first off, we have Kelly Abondet, uh, with the mentor of Sarah Grinkowski in the College of so Social and Behavioral Sciences. Next, Hunter Carlson with the mentor of Jesse Christensen. Aidan Eldridge, mentor Timothy Webster in the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences. Kaylee Ferret, mentor Leslie Francis in the College of Law. Yes, I, I see some clapping hands, that's very great. Uh, Haley Hollins, mentor James Egnon. McKenna Hunt, with the mentor of Sudha Jaharaman in the School of Medicine. Next, Raina Miller, with mentor of Morel Zilikowski in the School of Medicine also. And Kimberly Ponce Gonzalez, member, uh, mentor of Catherine Supiano in the College of Nursing. Let's give a uh, Zoom applause for all the uh, awardees for the Francis Family Scholars. Thank you. I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge that I believe that we are also joined by our generous donors of the Francis Family Fund. And so um, I wanna thank you um, for joining us um, and being a part of this event. Um, it is so important and lovely to have donors like you of the Francis Family. Um, we're here joined by Dr. Leslie Francis, and I believe we may be joined by Dr. Um, John Francis as well, who've been very much committed through their careers um, in supporting undergraduate researchers. And so I want to thank you for joining us for this celebratory event online. Oh, Dr. Francis, if you wanted to just say something brief, go ahead. Yes, take a moment. If you um, or Dr. John Francis would like to say something, please do, just very briefly. And all I just said, I hope you can hear me, is that it's lovely to be able to see such wonderful work by our students. Wonderful. Thank you so much. We are now going to continue on with the next awards and recognition. The D Foundation is a donor who supports scholarships with the Office of Undergraduate Research at the University of Utah. The D family has a long history of charitable acts, from founding Salt Lake's first nonprofit hospital to funding financially vulnerable graduate nursing students. Inspired by the generosity of his parents, Tom and Annie, Lawrence and his wife Janet founded the Lawrence TD and Janet TD Foundation in 1971. With this foundation, they wish to promote charitable activities in Ogden and the surrounding area. While the founders of the D Foundation passed, their legacy is continued by their children and grandchildren. Lawrence and Janet's only son, Tom, ran the foundation following his parents' passing. Tom and his wife, Elizabeth, had two sons, Tim and David Lawrence D. Lawrence and Janet's legacy of giving is carried on today by a board of directors comprised of their two grandsons furthering the growth and well-being of the people of Northern Utah. At the University of Utah, the D Foundation awards $1,200 to undergraduate students whose research contributes to the well-being of the residents of Northern Utah. Students awarded with the D Scholarship are recognized at the annual Undergraduate Research Awards Ceremony 
along with their mentors. I now like to invite up ADP Frost to uh, read the names of the D Scholars for 2022-2023. Okay, we have some wonderful scholars here. We have Kenzie Fleming, whose mentor is Aaron Fisher from the College of Education. Aaron Garzella, whose mentor is Tracy Lamb from the School of Medicine. Nate Hooper, whose mentor is Dustin Williams from the School of Medicine. Kaylee Kirkpatrick, whose mentor is Caden O'Brien from the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences. Ava Peets, whose mentor is Ming Hammond from the College of Science. And I think there's one or two others. Yes, here we go. Okay. And then Tessa Petersell, whose mentor is Peter Fino from the College of Health. Sabrina Sue, whose mentor is Jay Kim from the College of Engineering. And Derek Wong, whose mentor is Yang Kong from the College of Engineering. Congratulations. Wonderful work. I read the titles of what you did. Fantastic. Very interesting. Congratulations. Next up is the Parent Fund. The Parent Fund is sustained by parents and supports student-centered programs and initiatives. The Parent Fund plays an integral role in the University of Utah's ability to provide students with exceptional opportunities at inside and outside of the classroom. We would like to recognize our 2022 to 2023 Parent Fund Scholars. Christian Furness. Mentor John Longino of College of Health. Sonia Asuna. Mentor Peter West of the College of Pharmacy. Adriana Payan Medina. Mentor Ram Karan Gorpetti, College of Medicine. And Sophie Stevens. Mentor Siham Bodina, College of Health. Congratulations to the Parent Fund Scholars of 2022 and 2023. We are now going to present the Monson Prize. The Monson Essay Prize is a scholarship administered through the Office of Undergraduate Research at the University of Utah. This award honors the life of Charles H. Monson, who was a distinguished member of the University Philosophy Department from 1958 to 1974. Monson earned his bachelor's and master's degrees in philosophy from the University of Utah. In 1958, Monson returned to the U as a professor in the philosophy department. He served as the associate academic vice president and chair of the philosophy department during his time. Monson's inspiring lectures and administration at the U earned him the Distinguished Teaching Award in 1970. University of Utah philosophy professor Charles H. Monson was a renowned teacher with a deep commitment to the understanding of social change. In his honor, this annual prize was established in 2006 to award an undergraduate who writes an outstanding abstract and paper on a subject having to do with change. Monson had dreams of establishing a forum for change funded by the royalties from books he planned to write and publish. Sadly, this dream did not come true as Monson passed away at age 50 due to complications from a knee surgery. The Monson Award is supported by royalties, donations, and family contributions today as it honors Charles' memory. The University of Utah's Office of Undergraduate Research and Undergraduate Studies extends a deep appreciation to Mr. Carl Shatton for continuing on the establishment of the legacy set forth by the late Ms. Sharon Monson Shatton to create the endowment for the Monson Prize. All right, um, we'd like to now announce the Monson Prize essay winner. If you are here, um, and what we've been doing is we've been inviting our various students who've been joining us from the audience. When your name comes up, we've been turning you into a panelist. And then if you turn your camera on, people will be able to see you. But if you keep your camera off, then no one will see you in the sort of camera panelist mode. So we encourage you to turn your camera on if you've noticed that you've been invited to be a panelist. Then that way our friends and family can see your face um, as we announce your name. And so now I'd like to take the next step of honoring and recognizing our Monson Prize winner, who is Malaya Bauer, who wrote the essay, Silence is Violence, a national legislative proposal for the criminalization of the enabler to institutional violence. 
Malaya's mentor was Professor Amos Giora, who is with the law school. And it, we're so um, appreciative, uh, appreciative of mentoring like Dr. Giora. And also I want to acknowledge that we are also joined um, today by um, Mr. Carl Shatton. And so we want to um, recognize normally at this point, Malaya, we would be handing you something, a wonderful check. We would be taking photos. Everyone would be applauding you. Thank you for turning on your camera to join us. And Mr. Shatton, yes, please wave um, and um, maybe just say something very quick for the audience. Yeah, sure. I would like to thank um, Mr. Shatton for providing this opportunity. Professor Giora can speak to this as well. This work is incredibly important and incredibly powerful, and it means a lot to have it recognized at this level to know that change is being made. So I'd like to thank you and the founders of the Monson Prize as well. Mr. Shatton, did you want to say something very brief? We are so honored to have your presence. Oh, and it is. It is I. It is an honor to be here. This is, has been such a wonderful experience to uh, be able to meet with these wonderful scholars and students. And I know my wife and father-in-law and mother-in-law would be extremely uh, happy and gratified at the amazing work that all of these young students are doing. And I just want to thank you for allowing me to still be part of this. It's wonderful. Thank you. And congratulations. Wonderful. I'll just jump. This is Amos Gior. I'll just jump in and say two sentences. Yes. One, there's no greater honor than mentoring a great student. And there's no more deserving recipient of this extraordinary award than Malaya. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Gioro. So wonderful to see you. We are going to continue with our award ceremony. We're so grateful for all of our um, our mentors, our you know, wonderful students who are doing such amazing work. And now uh, we are going to move into the next part of the award ceremony. Um, here we have a little bit of a description though about Malaya's uh, work. If you wanna learn more about it, uh, please do connect with her um, or her mentor um, in which she says for centuries, institutions have exploited their power to abuse the vulnerable and avoid culpability. In many cases, abuse would not have been possible if not for the in institutional underpinnings which protect the perpetrators. This thesis advocates for establishing a federal duty to protect between members of institutions and the victims of institutional abuse. So again, congratulations to our award recipient of the Monson Prize, Malaya Bauer. I'd like to now move towards recognizing our 2023 Outstanding Undergraduate Research Researcher Awardees. Uh, we are going to read their names, uh, say something about their, um, you know, read their names and say something very brief that their mentor said. Um, to keep the program going very quickly, if you have anything to say, we wanna make sure you turn on your camera um, and say something very brief because we have a ton of people to get through. And we also have our outstanding undergraduate researcher mentor awards to get through it as well. So without further ado, um, I'd like to um, move forward with acknowledging our 2023 recipients from the College of Architecture and Planning. Charlotte Garris. Charlotte is currently enrolled in a specialized four plus one combined bachelor's of urban ecology, masters of city and metropolitan planning program. Charlotte is a bright and energetic person who is thoughtful, inquisitive about the world and by my observation invested in the endeavors to which she commits. This was said by Charlotte's faculty mentor, Professor Keith Bartholomew with the College of Architecture and planning. Congratulations to Charlotte. And we have Charlotte in the space. And um, so we just very briefly, Charlotte, just show your face. And if you'd like to say something. Um, just thank you to my, my faculty, my friends, my family, my proofreaders. It's been so much. Thanks. Thank you. Wonderful. And normally, if we are joined by deans, uh, we usually um, also um, would invite them up to also congratulate our wonderful students like Charlotte, in which they would say something glowing, they'd shake hands, they take photos. Um, and so we just want to acknowledge the deans in the room um, who would normally be up here at the podium. Um, and we are just working with a little bit more of logistics now. So thank you. 
Ryan McBride's honors thesis is titled Presidential Prediction, Models Using Down-Ballot Election Results. Ryan showed a great deal of dedication and self-motivation in studying data science and applying it to his undergraduate thesis. He is participating in the joint BS MSIS program. Congratulations to Ryan McBride. It looks like Ryan is here, so we'll go ahead and just open it up very briefly. Um, I don't have much to say other than thank you for this uh, award and thank you for everyone that helped me along the way, like Chong and Vandana and helping me. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. I couldn't have more gratitude. Congratulations again. We're going to continue on with our recognitions and these students are amazing, aren't they? I'm just hearing. Um, and one thing I do want to say is that um, I'm only reading a very short excerpt of oftentimes what was pages and pages of letters of recommendations. And so we um, um, now would like to recognize the Cultural and Social School for Cultural and Social Transformation. Transform recognizes Natalia Garrido. Natalia developed a pamphlet geared towards students to inform themselves about why gender diversity matters for future healthcare providers. Natalia is a force to be reckoned with. Much more critical than Natalia's ability to complete tasks independently are deep insights as an emerging scholar. She is one of the students at the heart of what Transform strives to be. And that was said by her faculty mentor, Professor Claudia Geist, with the School for Cultural and Social Transformation. Natalia was also the recipient of SPUR 2022, Europe Fall 2022, and has presented at the Utah Conference on Undergraduate Research 2023 and the National Conference on Undergraduate Research. Congratulations to Natalia. Thank you. I just want to say thank you for the opportunity and the experience. It's been great. And I just want to further like put on the platform just to push and fight for our communities that need a lot of uh, you know support and just continue to do research and supporting them and benefiting the communities. Thank you, Natalia, for your scholarship and advocacy. We so appreciate you. Next up is the School of Dentistry. The School of Dentistry recognizes Eliza Diggins. Eliza's research in my lab has focused on tracking down reservoirs for a virus associated with Sjogren's disease. Eliza has shown great strength in collaboration and collegiality. Her scientific curiosity and collaborative nature are a strength not seen in many undergraduate researchers. She has, a time and again, she has time and again proven her ability and potential to contribute to the scientific community. This was stated by Eliza's faculty mentor, Professor Melody Weller with the School of Dentistry. Eliza was also the recipient of Europe Fall 2022, Europe Spring 2023, and also presented at UCUR 2023 and Research on Capitol Hill 2023. Congratulations to Eliza Diggins. Um, yeah, I'd just like to thank um, OUR for helping to fund uh, the research that I do. Um, it wouldn't be possible without that funding. And I'd like to thank uh, my mentor, Dr. Melody Weller, for all that she has done to help me um, and for allowing me to corrupt her otherwise beautiful biology lab with the uh, you know, sacrilege of my, uh, my mathematics. Congratulations to Eliza. We are so honored to um, have you here. Um, and Congratulations to your mentor as well. These students are amazing. We are so lucky here at the University of Utah. I'm gonna keep going so we can get through all of our colleges. Now we'd like to recognize the College of Education. Um, from the College of Education, um, the college recognizes Tessa Cahoon. Te Tessa will be graduating with honors and her thesis is entitled, What Should Be the Main Roles of Public Elementary Education in the United States? an exploratory study based on teacher survey responses during the COVID-19 pandemic. Tessa was mentored by Professor Mary Burbank with the College of Education. Yeah, I just want to thank everybody who helped me on my thesis along the way, especially Mary Burbank, who was my mentor. Yeah, congratulations, Tessa. Um, you have wonderful work that you are doing in education, and we're so appreciative of it. Congratulations on your recognition. We'd now like to recognize the John and Marcia Price College of Engineering recipients. 
The first recipient is Adriana Payan Medina. Medina. Adriana re, uh, continued working with us on expanding her satellite air pollution and health analysis with the National COVID Cohort Collaborative N3C. Adriana's ability to recognize the creative potential in her biomedical informatics research will be a memorable trait that we look for in our future undergraduate researchers. This was stated jointly by both faculty mentors, professors Julio Facelli and Ram Karan Goripetti. Congratulations to Adriana as one of the recipients of the Outstanding Undergraduate Researcher Awardees for the College of Engineering. Uh, thank you so much for this incredible honor. I want to thank my outstanding mentors in the Department of Chemical Engineering and the Department of Biomedical Informatics. They've just made me so excited and prepared to move forward as I pursue my PhD. Oh, congratulations. Um, thank you for joining us again. Um, the College of Engineering also recognized a second recipient of the Outstanding Undergraduate Researcher Awards, and this is Michael Alessandro Kaiser. Michael was on the avionics payload team, which is responsible for onboard computers with avionic systems in addition to camera interfaces. Michael is the epitome of a dedicated University of Utah undergraduate student who genuinely enjoys the process of research. To ensure he left an everlasting positive impression on the University of Utah's campus, Michael proposed to improve the Air U air quality sensor network. Michael's mentor was Professor Florian Solzbacher with the College of Engineering. Hello, oh, yeah, I'd also like to thank uh, Professor Lucas Timmons and Pierre Emmanuel Gaillardon, who I worked with along the way. This award means a lot, and I'm glad my work could be recognized. Thanks. Congratulations um, to both of our College of Engineering recipients. Super exciting. We are so glad to have College of Engineering as partners and mentors who are supporting wonderful researchers like these two and many more. Now we'd like to acknowledge and recognize for the outstanding Undergraduate Research Award with the College of Fine Arts. The recipient of the Outstanding Undergraduate Research Award for the College of Fine Arts is Lauren Karn. Lauren presented Improving Mental Health Through the Arts at a research on Capitol Hill for 2023. Consolation Prize, a one-act play by Lauren, is now being shared in classrooms throughout the Salt Lake Valley. As Ms. Draper 2022, Lauren visits elementary, middle, and high school groups to discuss using performing arts to improve mental health. This was said, by the faculty mentor, Professor Lynn Debunk. Okay, I just wanna say thank you to um, my mentors and my professors who were willing to read my work and help me out with all the research. It's exciting to be able to um, explore things that you're really interested in and see actual impact from it. Wonderful. Congratulations to you and your mentor again, Lauren. Lauren was also um, a presenter at Research on Capitol Hill. Now we'd like to um, recognize the Outstanding Undergraduate Research Award awardees from the College of Health. The College of Health and the office recognize Elena Yi. She generated some exciting data showing that she was able to restore muscle function in aged mice with an immunotherapy. Elena is a delight to be around, not only by me, but other trainees in the lab. She has a high integrity and excellent work ethic, intelligent and excited about the work she is focused on. She remains curious by asking thought provoking questions. Her mentor was Professor Micah Drummond and Elena, Elena was also a Europe Fall 2021. Congratulations to Elena. Hi, I would just like to thank you for selecting me for this award. And also I'd like to thank Dr. Drummond for being my mentor and also the other lab members and uh, the lab for helping me. Congratulations, wonderful to have you here as well. We would like to now recognize the recipient of the Outstanding Undergraduate Research Award from the Honors College. The Honors College selected Katie Sanyo. Sanyo. Katie's novel, Claire's Creatures, introduces us to an Asian American protagonist who grew up with her white grandmother in rural Georgia. Katie has had to get knee deep in North Georgia history, meticulously researching women's rights, social norms, socioeconomic conditions, and how such a woman might behave in public settings with grandchildren of color. Katie's mentor was Professor Mike Gills. 
Oops, congratulations to Katie. Um, hi, yes, I just wanted to say thank you to um, my professor and mentor, Dr. Michael Bills and Dean Tordy. Um, I couldn't have written the novel without the support of um, the professor and my peers, so thank you. Congratulations. We'd like to now recognize the recipient of the Outstanding Undergraduate Research Award from the College of Humanities. This award goes to Eliana Massey. Eliana's research skills proved to be years beyond other undergraduates I've worked with. Her exploration of queer communities of color during the war presented to both MPS historians and as a poster to spur was brilliant. She is researching methods to improve the NH NHMU project, A Climate of Hope, and new digital tools to support our burgeoning center for Pacifica and digital knowledge. This was said by Eliana's mentor, Professor Matt Basso. Eliana was also a SPUR 2022 recipient, also presented her research at UCUR 2023, and is also an uh, office with the office and undergraduate research leader. And so we're very proud of Eliana to also work for us um, as she does amazing research. Congratulations to Eliana. I just like to thank um, the Office of Undergraduate Research for supporting my work. I'd also like to thank my faculty mentor, Matt Basso. Basso. He's been an excellent um, supporter of me. And I'd also like to thank um, various other mentors that I've had, including Dr. Lynn Sumo, Dr. Lisa Diamond, Dr. Miley Arvin, and Rebecca Cummings at Digital Matters. Wonderful. Congratulations, Eliana. And what a team of mentors. We'd now like to recognize the Outstanding Undergraduate Research Award recipients with the School of Medicine. The recipient is Samuel Hendry. Sam has proven to be an incredibly skilled, motivated, creative, and thoughtful researcher. Sam's research project centers on understanding the mechanics of a toxin-like factor past that was identified in E. coli pathogens by my lab several years ago. Based on Sam's eye-opening findings, we are currently working with collaborators at Emory and Penn State to develop a new R1. Sam's mentor was Professor Matt Mulvey. Sam was also the recipient of the Europe Spring 2023, Europe Fall 2022, and presented their research at UCUR 2023. Congratulations to Sam. Yeah, I just want to say thank you to the School of Medicine and to uh, the Undergraduate Office of Research for the award. Um, it's been a great honor to work in the Mulvey Lab and um, get to collaborate with the grad students and uh, Professor Mulvey as well. I'm super grateful for everything. Thanks. Congratulations again. All right, we'd like to now recognize the Outstanding Undergraduate Researcher Award awardee from the College of Mines and Earth Sciences. CMES recognizes Nancy Solberg. Nancy was nominated by her mentor, Dr. Gannett Heller, in recognition of her major contribution to the Heller Research Group over the past two years. Nancy played a leadership role in the installation, repair, and maintenance of a major instrument to measure PM10 and PM2.5 aerosol mass in the atmosphere. Nancy also successfully engineered to make this instrument, which is normally installed outdoors, to run indoors using a sampling manifold. This was stated by their mentor, Siva Guruswamy, um, who's also the associate dean. Nancy was also a recipient of Europe Summer 22 and Europe Fall 22. Congratulations to Nancy. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, this, this award means a great deal to me. And I just, I just wanted to extend my gratitude to my incredible PI, Gannett Haller. I couldn't have had the amazing research experience that I've been continuing to have without her help. Um, and thank you to my family too, my parents who are watching. Um, thank you for your support, you guys. I love you. Oh, wonderful. Congratulations again, um, Nancy. We now like to recognize the Outstanding Undergraduate Researcher Awardee from the College of Nursing. College of Nursing recognizes Sydney Gilliland. Sydney's 
Honor Thesis presents a summary of the usability of the revised Color Me Healthy Symptom Assessment app from the perspectives of children with cancer and their parents. Her thesis was derived from my supportive care grant from St. Baldrick's Foundation that supported key revisions to the app's user interface. Sydney's mentor is Professor Lori Linder. Sydney was also the um, uh, recipient of Europe Summer 2021 and also presented at Research on Capitol Hill at uh, this 2023 year. Congratulations to Sydney. We'd like to now recognize from the College of Pharmacy, the Outstanding Undergraduate Researcher Awardee. The college recognizes Oliver Hubbard, his project funded by University of Utah Clinical and Translational Science Institute, SEED grant, and in collaboration with the Division of Clinical Pharmacology, involves design and development of drug modification strategies to reduce drug absorption to the extracorporeal membrane oxygenation ECMO systems. His enthusiasm, quick learning of laboratory skills, commitment and productivity, citizenship and communication skills are exemplary. And this is from their mentor, Professor Hamid Gandhi Hadi. Oliver was also the recipient of Europe Fall 22 and presented their research at Research on Capitol Hill 2023 and UCR 2023. Hello. Um, yeah, I just want to say thanks to the OUR for considering me for this. And obviously, thanks to my mentors, Dr. Gandhari, for letting me be in his lab, Dr. Natish Karuna for helping me literally every step of the way. Um, and finally, just thanks to my mom, who's fostered my interest for this kind of stuff since I was zero years old. So thanks. Wonderful. And you have been awarded, Oliver. So you've been considered and awarded. Congratulations. We'd now like to recognize the College of Science Outstanding Undergraduate Researcher Awardees. From the College of Science, the first recipient is Allison Wang. Allison research focused on understanding how to develop molecular electrocatalysts for CO2 reduction to CO that operate at lower over potentials. Her ability to master aspects of lab research made her an integral member of my research team. Overall, Allison is exceptional. She's shown me that she is creative and insightful in how she approaches her research. And this was said by her faculty mentor, Carolyn Soma. Allison was also the recipient of Europe Spring 2021 and Europe Fall 2020. Hi, I'd just like to say thank you to the Office of Undergraduate Research as well, and uh, to my mentor, Professor Caroline Soma. I'm eternally grateful for her support and mentorship, and thanks to everyone in the Soma Lab. This could have been done without you. Congratulations again, Allison. We also are recognizing one more recipient from the College of S Science. We would like to recognize Yexelen Barrera Casas. She has fallen in love with research and the thrill of being the first person in the world to learn something new. Her latest work on the lanthanide nitrites and cyanides will ultimately lead to one or two additional publications. She is highly effective laboratory scientist. She comes up with new ideas for experiments. She is alert to unexpected observations and she capitalizes on these unexpected observations when she finds them. This was said by her faculty mentor, Professor Michael Morris. Congratulations to Yexelin. Hi, I would just like to give a big thank you to Professor Michael Morris, as well as um, all the grad students in that lab, Josh, Kim, and Dakota. This award is truly just as much theirs as it is mine. And most importantly, to a big thank you to my mother. Um, I couldn't have done it without her. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm loving the community that surrounds our students, so many people and so much love. Congratulations to Yexelin and our colleagues from the College of Science. Now we'd like to recognize for the Outstanding Undergraduate Research Award, the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences recipients. The first recipients from CSBS is Camden Alexander. Camden has been working and continues to work on a project focused on prenatal air pollution exposures and intellectual disability in Utah children. As a result of her careful and detail-oriented work, Camden is a co-author on two papers. Camden was also a, a participant in Happiest 2022, a partner of SPUR. Congratulations to Camden. 
Hi, I just wanted to say thank you to the OUR as well as Sarah and Tim, my mentors, especially Sarah, uh, my family, my team members, as well as everyone who helped me get here. Uh, this award is an honor and I'm grateful to have my work recognized through this award. We love the joys from the background. Congratulations uh, to Camden. We'd like to recognize the second recipient from CSBS, Shaista Din. Shaista's honors thesis examines various forms of education on women's awareness and knowledge of CCMV, congenital cytomegalovirus, with the goal of preventing CCMV transmission from mother to fetus during pregnancy. She is amazing. I've worked with so many undergraduate researchers over the past 25 years. She is one of the best. This is from her faculty mentor, Professor Marisa Diener. Shaista was also the recipient of Europe Fall 2021, Europe Spring 2021, and is also a Francis Family Scholarship recipient. Congratulations to Shaista. Hi, I would like to thank the Office of Undergraduate Research for this award. I would also like to thank Dr. Marissa Diener and also my co-researchers, Jessica Sharma and Abel Chavez. We started this project, we've been working on it since COVID, a little before, right when COVID started. So it's been a while and it wouldn't have been possible without everyone involved. So it was a team effort and I'm really grateful for this award. Congratulations. Thank you, Shaista. So we just wanna again, hey, big round of applause. Do your emojis to your, you blow up the chat, um, whatever you prefer. Congratulations to the 2023 Outstanding Undergraduate Researcher Awardees. As you can tell from just the short descriptions, these folks are absolutely amazing. And they support and foster the research culture that um, makes the University of Utah what it is, a research one institution that has really wonderful folks who become eventual ambassadors of our institutions. So congratulations to all of our awardees and their mentors as well, um, which as you can tell, they were oftentimes teams of folks mentoring the one. And so thank you all for your support and as well as our family and friends. Now we'd like to um, inaugurate our 2023 Outstanding Undergraduate Research Mentor Awards. I'd like to now invite Senior Associate Dean Jim Agutter, who will describe the award as well as present the awards. Yes, uh, thank you, Dr. Fukushima. What a wonderful honor to uh, inaugurate and celebrate the wonderful mentors that we have in our uh, community. This is the first year that we're giving out this award and they were selected by the college leadership and peers representing the best mentors across campus. I was, I was as was mentioned earlier, as a mentor, there's no greater honor than to work with an undergraduate scholar who is emerging and learning and developing strategies to do this work. Uh, and so from the Office of Undergraduate Research and our broader research community, we thank you so much for the mentors to spend your time, your effort, your commitment, to working with these students. And as indicated, we had over 420 faculty mentors. And so these are the recognized as the, the best of our OUR community. So with that, we'll go ahead and announce the recipients. We have Sarah Henners from the College of Architecture and Planning, Vandana Ramachandran from the David Eccles School of Business, we have our own Annie Isabel Fukushima from the School of Cultural and Social Transformation. Melody Weller from the School of Dentistry. Mary Burbank from the College of Education. Cynthia First from the John and Marissa Price College of Engineering. Alexandra Harbold from the College of Fine Arts. J. David Simmons from the College of Health. Michael Gills from the Honors College. Rachel Hayes Harb from the College of Humanities and our former, former Office of Undergraduate Research Director. Yan Ting Shu from the School of Medicine. Gannett Haller from the College of Mines and Earth Sciences. Larry Lender from the College of Nursing. Amy Barrios from the College of Pharmacy. Ofer Rogue from the College of Science. And Sarah Elizabeth 
Grineski from the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences. Thank you all so much. And from Zoom, the Zoom uh, chat, please give your congratulations to the winners of the 2023 uh, Mentor Prize. Thank you all for your contributions. And if folks want to come off camera so we can do a screenshot of your beautiful faces, and if you don't want to because you were not prepared to go on camera, that's totally fine too. Uh, we welcome you in all forms. Congratulations to all of us. Um, it's an honor. Um, I don't know if anyone, we did have time. This was the um, end of our award ceremony. If anyone wants to say anything brief, um, you are welcome to take the microphone, the Zoom microphone. Just do the unmute yourself and that will signal you want to talk. Hi, thank you everybody for this award. I would just, in addition to the amazing undergrads that uh, were celebrated here, and this is a great forum, I, I would also like to extend, um, I get gratitude for the graduate students and staff and research scientists and postdocs who are participating and really making, um, definitely in my lab, inclusion of undergraduate in research possible. So, so many thanks to them as well. Thank you, Dr. Rogue. Anybody else? Go ahead, Dr. Linder. Hi, I'll just say, I just wanna express my appreciation for this award and mentoring our undergraduate students really is one of the, the highlights of everything that I do. And I'm just really grateful to see their development and their confidence as they participate in research and certainly um, their efforts keep me accountable and really are extending the work that I'm able to do. So I'm just so glad for them. Thank you, Dr. Linder. Go ahead, Dr. Percy. So in addition to thank you very much for this award and for the wonderful students I've been able to work with, this would not be possible without the tremendous support from the University of Utah and the Office for Undergraduate Education. So I just want to give a true shout out to your team for being so excellent in supporting the students, providing excellent educational opportunities for them, such as the education programs, and for the graduate student mentors who work with them as well. So thank you so much. And to my colleagues, thank you so much for the many years together, uh, enjoying some good times. Thank you, Dr. Percy. Anybody else? I actually do want to call in Dr. Hayes Harb, my predecessor, who um, built the wonderful infrastructure for me to slide right into. Um, and so Dr. Hayes Harb, did you want to say anything? Sure. Um, what a lovely event, Annie and team. Um, I'm, of course, really so very honored um, to be recognized. Um, but I'm also so much more honored by just the trust that gets placed in me by my colleagues and by all of the undergraduate uh, student collaborators, these, these very earliest career scholars um, who are essential colleagues um, in the work. Um, but I really want to acknowledge the amazing things you have been doing these past couple of years in the Office of Undergraduate Research. Um, just really such beautiful work, and I'm so grateful uh, for all you do. Thank you, um, Dr. Hayes Harb. And yeah, I don't do it alone. I do it with, as you saw, 420 professors, um, as well as with the awesome team of OUR. We, we really don't do it alone. We cannot do this work without our faculty mentors. Like literally, we need our mentors to step up and be the awesome folks you are. And uh, we're hoping in the future, um, as a plug to future donors, we would love to have this award come with some money. And so hopefully we can get some lovely donors for that. Um, but in the meantime, we know acknowledgement's important. So thank you all too. Um, anybody else? We still have a little bit of time before we wrap up. Anybody else want to say anything? I will um, say something really quickly. This is Gannett Haller. I just really appreciate the award and I appreciate everything that your office does for our laboratory. And um, I was really honored to have one of the uh, students in my lab honored today. So I'd like to give a shout out to Nancy. Thank you very, very much. Wonderful. Thank you, Dr. Heller. Any other comments? Anybody else? I guess I'll speak. Go ahead, Dr. Gills. <clears throat> I'd like to thank uh, the Office of Undergraduate Research uh, for this award. Uh, the Honors College, uh, Dean Hayes Harb, thank you. Uh, somebody said earlier, I believe it's been said twice, there's no, no greater honor than to mentor a great student. And so I would just like to shout out to Malia and Katie 
and Allison and Shasta and congratulate you on being great students to mentor. Thank you. Anybody else? Thank you so much for that. Great. Any other comments, questions, thoughts, amazingness? This is your time in the Zoom time as you are all warm at home, or I see some of you are in the offices um, as essential workers. It's good to see you. Um, anything else? All right. Well, thank you all for your heartfelt, heartfelt um, thoughts, reflections. I know you um, all must be so busy as well. So to take um, almost 90 minutes out of your day, when I know many of you are running labs, doing research, teaching, mentoring, uh, doing service for the institution and all of that, it's incredibly um, precious time for you to um, give to us to be here um, if you could. And if you couldn't, we totally understand folks um, have different lived realities and they show up when they can in the ways that they can. I wanna thank all of our recipients. Um, I want to uh, congratulate everyone. And again, uh, we're just going to um, one final uh, congratulations and thank you all for the attending the Outstanding Undergraduate Research Award uh, ceremony. If you want to learn more about us, please visit our.utah.edu. Um, we are here because you're all here and we want to keep collaborating with you all and working with you all. So please do keep connecting with our team of the office that includes staff and students. Um, we love working with all of you. Um, congratulations to all of you for the wonderful wonderful work that you've done to arrive here at recognition and being recognized for it. And we look forward to seeing you at future events and being a part of our different activities. And so congratulations to everyone. Um, and we thank you all uh, for joining us at this award ceremony. Um, oops, I'm going backwards in my slides and we will just keep going forward. Congratulations. So. Without further ado, we will go ahead and give ourselves an additional 20 minutes to ourselves. Normally, we would have been standing up, taking photos and all of that. Uh, for our recipients, we do want to let you know that um, you will be um, receiving um, your plaques, but we are um, scheduling to have you actually have a professional photo still taken if you'd like to pick it up and have a professional photo. For our students, we want to encourage that because maybe you don't have professional photos, and so it'll be your time to get a professional photo. And so uh, we encourage you um, to pick your, um, your awards up. If you can't pick it up, um, the team uh, will be reaching out to you to have it delivered uh, to you um, because uh, we want to make sure you get your awards, uh, certificates, and plaques. And so congratulations. Everyone enjoy your snowy, snowy Monday. Um, and um, if you like to snowshoe and ski, you're probably in heaven. And uh, for the rest of us, stay warm, drive safe, um, and be safe, and take care. Thank you all for joining the award ceremony.